Well, tonight, the Pulaski County Sheriff Eric Higgins has answered questions from members of the quorum court who were troubled by the filming of a Netflix documentary inside the county jail. That's right. Channel 7's Ashley Lunningham has more details on this developing story today. Ashley. Chris Beth, those questions were answered with supporting documentation, including answers to what compensation was given, a detailed account of each use of force by officers inside, and if the normal policies that PCSO have to adhere to were still followed. The Netflix documentary unlocked a jail experiment that stars the Pulaski County Sheriff's Department and inmates in the jail. The show is an experiment that provides more freedom for inmates by unlocking their cells. The Pulaski County government asked for more details about the legality of the agreement between Sheriff Higgins and Lucky 8, the production company. In the ordinance, Higgins says there was compensation given for participating in the show in the amount of $60,000 made payable to the Pulaski County government. Higgins says in his response, the check was given to the finance director on March 28th of this year and given to the comptroller's office, which was received that same day. Two PCSO employees were compensated as well for their off-duty hours, getting paid $40 per hour. According to Higgins, no other compensation was given to participants. The question pertaining to if PCSO adhered to the policies and protocols while conducting this experiment Higgins' response was yes. He says despite the advertisement by Netflix of no locks and no officers, that was not the case. Higgins states an officer was stationed in the H unit approximately six to eight feet from two secured doors. An officer was monitoring cameras present in the unit and deputies were in the unit on a consistent basis. He goes on to say no locks meant their cells were open. Inmates had a higher degree of freedom, which is not a novel concept in a jail or prison. Also documented in the ordinance is every use of force by PCSO officers during the time of film. Most were minor to no injuries. Also answered in the ordinance was the vetting process for inmates. According to Higgins, inmates were asked if they wanted to participate. The rules were there could be no federal detainees and detainees with a sexual charge participate, including detainees on a keep separate list. They were then vetted by Lucky 8 and again by PCRDF staff. If chosen, they were given a release form. Employees were chosen based off prior performance. Now, when asked in the ordinance if state and county agencies were notified about the experiment, the answer was consistent for all three questions, and that was all PCSO policies were adhered to, so there was no reason to notify. On your side, I'm Ashley Lunningham. Okay, Ashley, uh, thank you very much for that. Also today, a number of churches and clergy members threw their support behind Sheriff Higgins. Pastor Eric Crowder-Jones with Another Chance Ministries says the documentary shows inmates can get along. Watch it before you criticize it. Uh, I honor the sheriff for making this particular decision. Uh, it's not popular, but I believe that it's purposeful. The Little Rock NAACP has also thrown its support behind Higgins, but others, like Chief Roy Baker with Arkansas First Responders Bureau, remain unhappy with the move. He calls it, quote, absolutely reckless, irresponsible, and dangerous. At no time, he says, should any inmate feel that they have even the smallest amount of freedom or reign within the detention facility. The eight-episode series, Unlocked, a Jail Experiment, is streaming right now on Netflix. A federal